Hello, this is Lika from Informatica JCS team. In this video, we shall see constraint based loading in Informatica Power Center. The agenda of this video overview of constraint based loading and then implementation of it with an example. Constraint based loading when a session is configured for constraint based loading, integration service orders the target load on a row by row basis. For every row generated by an active source, the integration service loads the corresponding transformed row first to primary key table and then to any foreign key tables. Constraint based loading depends on certain requirements. First is active source. The two target tables must share a single active source such as a normalizer, a router transformation, etc. for the integration service to perform constraint based loading. When target tables receive rows from different active sources, integration service reverts to normal loading for those tables. Second is key relationships. Target tables must have key relationships. When target tables have no key relationship or if they have circular relationships like one target containing a primary key and a foreign key related to the primary key in a second target and the second target also contains a foreign key that references the primary key in the first target then constraint based loading will not be performed. Third is target connection groups. Integration service enforces constraint based loading for targets in the same target connection groups. Fourth is treat rows as insert. Use constraint based loading when the session option treat source row as is set to insert. You might get inconsistent data if you select different treat source row as option and you configure the session for constraint based loading. Let us now move to the demo. This is my product flat file source to mapping with item ID, item name, manufacturer ID, manufacturer name and then price. With this mapping data would be read from product flat file source. Then we have uh, two dynamic lookups here to look up on item and manufacturer target tables to determine whether manufacturer details and item details are already present in the target with new lookup row returning a value 1 which means the details are not already present data would be routed to manufacturer and item tables respectively with the help of router transformation in item table the foreign key manufacturer id references the primary key manufacturer id of manufacturer table also here we can see that both the targets item and manufacturer have same active source that is the router transformation. A session and a workflow has been generated for the mapping and under config object we can see that constraint base load ordering attribute has been checked in. In the mapping we could see that both the targets are loaded from the same active source both of them have key relationships and here we can see that both the targets are in same target connection groups and treat source row as option has been set to insert. So all the four requirements for constraint based load to work are met. Now let us go ahead and start the workflow. The workflow is running. It has succeeded now and in the statistics here we can see that 3 rows were extracted from product source, 3 are loaded to manufacturer target and 3 are loaded to item target. Let us now check the session log for the constraints. Here we can see the load constraints for the targets. Now let us check our target tables for the data. Uh, 
manufacturer table has been loaded with three manufacturer IDs and their names. Item table has been loaded with item ID, item name along with manufacturer ID and then the price of the item. This is how constraint based load works with Informatica. Please refer to the following document for more information on constraint based loading. We would love to hear from you any suggestion that will help us in improving our video content. Please write to us. Thank you.